want the perfect Harley Quinn costume for your dolls? Keep watching this video to see how you can make the perfect Harley Quinn costume. Do you want me to make your life easier? You can go purchase this look in my Etsy shop, Sam's Mini Couture. The link is in the description below. So as Tim Gum would say, let's make it work. So once you have your fabric cut out, you want to sew along the edges right here. And you want to go over about back and forth like three to four times so the stitch will stay. And especially since this is a stretchy material, you want to make sure the stitch stays and does not come out. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can see more videos on how I make awesome costumes like this. So once you're done sewing along the shoulders, we are going to fold the shirt out like this. And now we are going to attach the sleeves. So we're going to take our sleeve and we're going to line it up with the center of the shirt. So this is what the shirt should look like once you attach the sleeves on. And now I'm going to take that and fold it over just like this. And now I'm going to sew starting from the end of the sleeve all the way down to the end of the shirt. So as you can see on the shirt, there are some parts that have Harley's like the Harley font in like the whole like text, but then you can see that some of it is cut off in other areas. So to achieve that look, you're going to need a black pen and then you're going to want some handy dandy tape. And you're going to want to mark off exactly where you want to start writing. And now, for the best part, we're going to take off that tape. And we're going to slowly peel it off. Look how satisfying that was. And now, look how beautiful that looks. And it looks exact. A little longer than a few minutes later. Ta-da! So now we're going to start with the shorts and we have our two pieces of fabric and we are going to lay them good side to good side and we are going to start by sewing along this smaller J right here. Alrighty, so once you've done that we're going to refold our pants just like this. And we're going to sew only right here, not the whole J, like part of the J. Because this part we're going to hem and we're going to use this part to put the snaps in. So now that we've finished hemming and sewing the pants right here, we're going to take our pants and fold them out like this. And you're going to go sew back and forth right here in this little area. So now we are going to go along the bottom of the shorts and I am going to take my special thread scissors and I am going to just rub onto the edges of the shorts to make them fray. So now we're going to take some black paint and some red paint and we're going to paint on the stripes and the stars that are on the shorts. We're going to start painting stripes all the way on this side, going
going until here and start painting red stars starting there and on this side of the shorts. You want to follow this reference photo. So we're going to take these four jump rings and these four pieces of ribbon and we're going to take our piece of ribbon and we are going to thread it through the jump ring. Just like this. Then you want to thread it through so it's halfway the ribbon. So now that you have your ribbon through your jump ring, we're going to take some hot glue and we are going to hot glue this ribbon shut. So once you have those done, we are going to take our remaining four jump rings and our two suspenders and we're going to take one jump ring and we are going to thread the suspender through the jump ring. So you want to take your little piece that you threaded through and you want to fold it over. So you want to make sure that this little part can cover the little opening that's on the jump ring. Five hours later. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe so you can see more videos on how I make awesome characters costumes. And to make your life easier, you can go purchase this look in the link in the description below at my Etsy shop, Sam's Mini Couture. Bye!